hi guys uh, welcome to my channel audio video me and uh, today in this video I'm going to show you how to set up an active crossover in your PA system uh, also I'm going to explain what is an active crossover and what's the difference between active and passive crossover and uh, what is the main purpose of using an active crossover in your PA system okay to start with the uh, uh, active crossovers are basically electronic uh, pre-amplification uh, filtration devices uh, that sits between your mixing desk and your uh, amplifiers. Uh, the main purpose of uh, using an active crossover or the main function of active crossover is to do the filtration of the frequencies and route it to the proper speaker system they are destined for. Uh, so for example, uh, it filters the lower end frequencies and route it towards uh, your bass bins and uh, filters the higher frequencies and send it to your tweeters and uh, mid-range top speakers. Okay, uh, uh, what's the main difference between active and passive crossovers? Uh, as I said, uh, active crossovers, uh, they are pre-amplification electronic filtration devices and uh, passive crossovers, they are post-amplification uh, uh, electronic filtration devices and uh, most of the time uh, 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 passive crossovers, they are installed inside the speaker cabinets. Uh, okay, next I'm going to show you how to do the wiring and how to actual, actually connect an active crossover uh, within your PA system. Uh, okay, so just going to uh, show you the back of my rack now. Okay guys, uh, this is the back of uh, my rack and uh, uh, basically what you need to do is uh, take a, a left output of your mixer and uh, plug it in into uh, input uh, channel 1 input 1 on your uh, uh, active crossover and uh, right output uh, from the mi mixer and uh, uh, put it into input uh, on uh, channel 2 uh, on your uh, active crossover. Uh, now uh, there are different types of active crossover. Uh, I'm going. I'm demonstrating this in uh, stereo mode. Uh, you can use it as three-way mono or four-way mono as well. Uh, but for this demonstration, I'm just using two-way stereo mode. Uh, okay. Uh, once you have uh, connected uh, uh, XLRs output from your mixer left and right to channel one and channel two inputs on your uh, active crossover what you need to do is now uh, drive the uh, upper speakers or tweeters uh, from one amplifier and the bass bins from uh, another amplifier so basically you're going to need two amplifiers and this this can put this setup into uh, by amplification setup as well uh, so next what you need to do is uh, for for your top sp uh, speakers, so for your tweeters and the mid-range speaker, what you need is take an output uh, from uh, channel 1 uh, high output and plug it into the first amplifier which you're going to use for your main speakers uh, and plug it in into uh, channel 1 on your amplifier, first amplifier, then take another uh, high output from your uh, active crossover and plug it into channel 2 on your first amplifier. Repeat the same for uh, uh, your bass bin so uh, low output from your channel 1 goes into the uh, channel 1 input on your second amplifier and low output from your active crossover uh, from your channel 2 goes into the channel 2 of your second speaker so as I said uh, this is basically a by amplification setup as well uh, so this is the basic setup of uh, uh, an active crossover uh, and and uh, this demonstrates uh, how you do the wiring now there is more to active crossover uh, like if you can see or not uh, there are a few switches uh, here uh, 
uh, it's called uh, uh, x over frequency uh, so basically i'll explain later on what it uh, what that means there is uh, uh, another switch uh, that is stereo or mono uh, so if i want to use my amplifier uh, active crossover as uh, stereo mode then I you uh, then I use this stereo switch if not then I just press it to use it in mono mode uh, uh, This switch is low sum so if you're using it in mono mode and you don't want to use or or if you're using like just only one sub uh, and not too sub then you just press the low sum and uh, it just basically disables the uh, low output on channel 2 okay let's uh, uh, get back to the front of the rack and uh, let's play some music uh, to see the difference of uh, adding an active crossover uh, into your PA system okay all right, let's check the front of the uh, active crossover and uh, what the knobs mean. And uh, I'll play some music uh, to to uh, demonstrate the difference uh, between between different functions of the active crossover. Okay, to start with, I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit on on the knobs of uh, active crossover. Okay. Okay, hopefully you guys can see it clearly okay uh, so basically on the left hand side of this active crossover uh, is the main gain uh, so it's the uh, signal coming in into channel 1 uh, I can apply a minus 12 db to plus 12 db of gain so if I increase it let's play some music so if I increase it it's gonna increase the overall uh, signal uh, volume on on my channel 1 which is my left uh, uh, tweeter and my uh, left sub okay i'm just gonna place it into nominal level let me just decrease the volume a bit okay now this second knob is the crossover frequency knob which is the most important uh, knob uh, on, on an active crossover this knob determines at what frequency it's gonna cross over uh, so uh, at the moment it is set up at about 100 hertz uh, because uh, uh, the way uh, I'll, I'll show you so here I'm playing the music uh, now let me uh, bring the volume down of my uh, uh, tops which are my mid-range uh, speakers and my tweeters so I'm just gonna bring that volume down okay probably you can hear the bass now which is driven by the second uh, um, amplifier now as I said this frequency determines I'm just gonna increase the volume a bit so you could hear it uh, because I've got a small microphone okay so now this knob determines at uh, what frequency it's gonna cross over so if I increase this to like let's say about 240 Hertz let me do the same with the right channel sub you can probably hear I'm gonna increase it to 350 Hertz so after increasing uh, the crossover frequency to 350 Hertz you can you can see that you can hear that uh, uh, you can hear the lyrics which which is not what I want to achieve so what I want to achieve is a bunchy bass out of my subs so I'm just gonna uh, decrease it to 100 Hertz 
and I'm just gonna decrease this one as well to 100 Hertz okay as you can now hear that it's a uh, it's only bass coming out of my subs and I can't hear any uh, mid-range notes coming out of my uh, sub so at 100 Hertz I want uh, my active crossover to do the crossover so what that means that means that uh, all the frequencies uh, from 100 Hertz and below are uh, sent to the subwoofers and uh, all the above 100 uh, 101 Hertz uh, and above frequencies they go to the uh, tweeters and uh, the mid-range speakers uh, okay what is the uh, th there is also another uh, switch here uh, which is basically a high pass filter uh, uh, at 40 hertz so uh, if you don't want unwanted rumble uh, coming out of your bass pins you can just switch this on uh, so anything below 40 hertz it's gonna be basically disregarded by your uh, active crossover and this is a low output gain is the gain that goes to the subwoofer and then next to it is the high output uh, gain that goes to the uh, tweeters and uh, the mid-range speakers uh, okay uh, there is a knob uh, called phase uh, uh, invert knob uh, uh, basically if there are any polarity issues uh, with the cabling in in your uh, PA setup then you can press that button to address it and uh, and uh, uh, this applies uh, to your uh, sub and this uh, phase invert applies to your high uh, okay as I said on the back I showed you there was a knob called uh, uh, X10 crossover basically what that does is if you can see uh, this uh, crossover frequency at the moment is 45 Hertz to 960 Hertz if you press that X10 uh, knob on the back of active crossover is just gonna uh, change the frequency range from uh, uh, 45 Hertz to 450 Hertz uh, to uh, 960 kilohertz uh, if you're gonna press that uh, but we are running it in uh, stereo mode and uh, I want to do the crossover frequency uh, at 100 Hertz or a little bit more or less so I'm, I'm not gonna use the X10 switch on the back uh, okay uh, let's play some music to hear some more difference okay. okay so I'm just gonna demonstrate you with another song uh, uh, so I'm just gonna take the higher speakers the tweeters and the mid-brain speakers down I'm just going to increase the volume a bit so at the moment I am doing the crossover at about uh, 100 Hertz uh, so anything uh, starting 100 Hertz and below uh, they are going to my subwoofers and uh, let me put the overall gain to nominal which is zero just do the crossover at 240 Hertz as you can see that now you can hear uh, the lyrics coming out of the subwoofers which which you don't want uh, you want punchy bass coming out of the subwoofers so best is to leave the crossover frequency to 100 hertz as you can probably hear now that The only thing uh, that goes to the subwoofers uh, is the bass. Uh, now, if I switch on the 40 hertz on both channels, 
so basically uh, after pressing the 40 hertz uh, local filter what i've done is i have applied uh, a local high pass filter to channel one and channel two any frequencies uh, starting 40 hertz and below they're gonna be dropped uh, so they're not gonna go to the subwoofers uh, i'm just gonna take this off at the moment and I'm just gonna do the same uh, with the subs so it's gonna zoom out a bit okay so now it's just gonna increase the volume Okay, now I'm gonna take the subwoofers down. And now I'm gonna put the subwoofers again up. guys uh, hope I've explained uh, uh, the main purpose of an active crossover uh, in a PA system setup and uh, uh, but if you guys have any more questions uh, then you can leave a comment and I'll get back to you uh, if you have liked this video uh, then uh, tick on the like icon and I'll appreciate it I'll keep making more informative videos related to commercial and residential audiovisuals okay bye bye